Hey guys, today we're going to talk about using price to sales, price to sales ratio, using it when trading. So I have my sample stock. This is IQ stock. And below on TradingView or any platform that you're using, you can look up price to sales. So as it sounds, it's price divided by sales or revenue. How is it useful? Well, what we're trying to do is find periods where you get more bang for your buck, more value for a dollar invested. So low price to sales means you're getting more value. High price to sales means you're paying a lot more for the stock. So if, if you look at the high prices, high price to sales, in this case, four and eight. And if you look at the lows, price to sales was under one. Now, some keys to using price to sales. They work better when the companies are growing and the companies are profitable. So this ratio does not show us any of that information. We still have to do homework. We still have to find out, is this a good business? Are they making profit? Is it a real business? How is the, how is the balance sheet? But as far as a ratio, it is very useful to at a glance find out and weed out some companies. When you're going through a bunch of stocks, maybe you don't want the 40 times sales companies. Maybe you don't want the 60 times sales companies. But when you see two times sales and below, immediately that tells you some information. Another key factor is the size of the profit margin. A company like Walmart will have, will always have a low price to sales ratio because their profit margin is so low. So watch out for that tech companies or companies with high margins will usually get a high premium price to sales when they're growing. Another factor is look at the company's sales expectation. So seeking out alpha will give you expectations for earnings and also revenue. And it, if, as you can see right here, the slope of the expected sales for IQ stock is upward. So it's going to grow. So even if the stock doesn't move, the stock price doesn't move, we know that sales will go up over time. So as you can imagine, the price to sales ratio will become lower and lower because the company is growing. So keep that in mind when you're trading your stock. Another tip when trading with price to sales ratio in this case, IQ stock, as you can see, it's in a downtrend. So price to sales is also in a downtrend. When you're building your trade design, you're not going to put all your money in one stock. You're going to spread it over 10 to 20 positions. You're going to have your position size in mind. You might do it all at once, or maybe you dollar cost average, but you're going to, you're going to want to use a, a buy stop. So, we don't know where the bottom is and we don't need to know. But if we just do a buy stop, an example of a buy stop would be a, a buy stop order. If the market starts to go up, pull me in. That would be the smartest, safest way because we will avoid any further downside and only participate when it starts to rise. I hope you found this useful. If you did, I will make another one that you can look at on fundamental, on trading with fundamental data.